Hello and welcome to this tutorial from Pro Photo Vector. My name is Mike Davies and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to create new artboards using Illustrator. I'll be using Adobe Illustrator CC 2020 which is the latest version of Illustrator at the time of this video. There are a few different ways to create a new artboard inside of Illustrator so I'll show you guys all of them at least all of the easiest ways to do it. So for one we need to create a new composition so I'll come over here to the left side and click create new. And I'm just going to real quick come over to web and go with this web large template. So this is a standard 1920 by 1080 pixel document. So the first way to create new artboards is actually from this window. So over here you'll see we have a section titled artboards. By default we have one single artboard. But if we wanted to we can change this to however many we wanted to. So let's go with two for this example for right now. So this will create two artboards when I first create my new document. Both of them will have this same size, 1920 by 1080. And I'll leave the name of the document set to the default and just hit create. So now you'll see that our new document has two artboards to start with. And it's also opening this up by default with the artboard tool, at least in my case. If you want to access this tool, you can use the Shift O shortcut key or just click on this icon here over in the toolbox. Some of you might be wondering how to create a new artboard if you already have a composition open. So what I'll do is come over here to Artboard 2. So these will always be labeled when you're inside of the Artboard tool. So this is Artboard 2 we're clicked on. And I'm just going to hit this little trash icon, the delete icon. And this will bring us back to one artboard. Now let's say I grab another tool like the selection tool here. So this is the regular drawing mode. I'll hold the Alt key and use the scroll wheel on my mouse to zoom in. So let's say your composition looks like this. If I grab the artboard tool, I can come up top here and you'll see a little icon labeled new artboard. So when I click on that, that's going to create a new artboard. Because we had two artboards to begin with, this one will be named artboard three, but you'll see it's actually numbered as two. So it's just using a different name since it already used artboard two. You can also come over here and rename the artboard if you want to in the properties section. If you don't have this properties tab open, just go to window and come down here and make sure properties is checked. So if we wanted to rename this and keep us from getting confused, I can rename that to artboard two and there you'll see that new name there. You'll also see here in the properties tab artboard options. So if I click on that, this allows me to adjust the artboard here. So various properties in here, including the name. And then we've got some presets we can choose from for our artboard size. And that's also going to allow us to set the resolution of our final document, which I'm not going to get into now. But if I wanted to change the size of this artboard, the dimensions, I could do so here. So let's say I wanted to go with 1080 by 1350. This portion on the right is going to show me the center of the artboard. And then here we have, of course, the orientation. I'm not going to go through everything with this, but I'll click OK. And there you'll see artboard 2 now has a different shape, different dimensions from artboard 1. But let me just create a third artboard to show some other options. So I'll click this new artboard option while I'm still inside of my artboard tool. So here we have our third artboard. Again, it's artboard four because artboard two was already created as was three. So let's just change this back to three using the name option. I can also rearrange the order of the artboard. So if I hold the alt key and zoom out, you can see it's just going from left to right and it's one, two, and three. I can rearrange this by coming up top to rearrange all. And you can see here the order. So right now we're going from left to right. I can always go from right to left if I wanted to. Let me change that back though. Or I could just have all of the artboards going down so they're all aligned vertically. As opposed to right now where they are all aligned horizontally. And I'll click OK. So there you can see the artboards have been rearranged. And let's say we're zoomed in on artboard 3. So let me come over here and change this to fit on screen. So how do we get to the other artboards? Or at the very least, how do we know what artboard we're on? So let's say we don't have the artboard tool selected. We just have the select tool, for example, selection tool. What I can do is come over here to the bottom icon here. This is just a tab called artboards. Again, if you don't see that tab over here on the right side of your canvas, you can go to window artboards. So this just tells us what artboard we're on. So right now we're on three. If I wanted to go to two, I could just double click on this. Make sure you don't double click on the name because that'll just bring up the option to change the name, which I don't want to do right now. 
And I can also double click on Artboard 1. That'll bring us to Artboard 1. I can also use this arrow to reorder the artboards if I wanted to. And let me just collapse this. I can also use this arrow to navigate between the artboards. And you'll see the name of the artboard will appear there as I use these arrows. So let's come back to the artboards tab here. So let me show you one last thing with the artboard tool. I'll hit shift O on my keyboard to bring up the artboard tool again. Hold the alt key and use my mouse wheel to zoom out. If I wanted to, I can just click on this and drag the artboard if I want to reposition it. So same goes with all of these. If for whatever reason I want these scattered about or I just want to place them in some form of a general layout or general order, that's a quick way to do that using the artboard tool. If I wanted to reset these, I can come back to rearrange all and simply just click on this option here. And by the way, I can also change the spacing between the artboards using the spacing field. And I'll click OK, and now everything is back to the way it was. So let's come over here and just delete these extra artboards. And that's how you create artboards inside of Illustrator. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video for more tutorials using premium software. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.